Hey and welcome again to this new tutorial of mastering git and github. In this video we will learn how to ignore some file so that they will not be committed and pushed to the git server. And to do that or to ignore some file we need to create a file who has the name git ignore. So let's do it. Touch uh, git ignore. Why we why we did this uh, this dot in the first because this file need to be hidden. Ah, touch without e at the end. Sorry. Yeah, and now we see that the git ignore has been created. And now we will mention or we write all uh, all the files that uh, that we don't want to be committing them or pushing them into git server. So let's create another file uh, application dot log and another one configuration dot log or config dot log config dot log uh, and we see those two are created so now we want to to commit and uh, to add and to commit our uh, our project but this but we want to ignore just two just two application dot log and config dot log let's write <coughs> git stages and as we see here, tell us that those are three, three new, uh, new files that they are still in the working, in the working area. So for now, as we say, we want to ignore those two, uh, those two files. So we will go to the git ignore file that we just created, and in each line, we will specific write the name of the of the file. So in our case, application dot log or our uh, and config dot log we hit save and let's uh, re-execute re this command line and as we know uh, this two file has been ignored ignored by git we can do that or we or because they have the same uh, extension we could just use this log we hit enter and we go we re-execute git stages and we we see that they are in the same uh, the same output as before and just two application.log and config.log are ignored so now let's go to the uh, staging area and git add dot git ignore and after that let's commit uh, git not hit git commit dash m and uh, let's say git ignore as a message we hit enter and we see that there is no problem even if those two application.log and config.log are not even in the staging area or in the uh, or in the local repository why because we ignore them so that they are not so they are not uh, not matter to, to git that's why we create we create the git ignore we add the file that are not uh, not interesting in the git server or they are not that interesting so that uh, the git will ignore them and we and he will not push them or add them and commit them and same thing go for repository also so <coughs> let's create a, a new repository for example mkdia database it's created and let's create a file in that uh, in that new let's name it db.txt for example 
it's created let's see educate stages what what it tells us it tells us that uh, there is a new new repository in database who has the name of database there but he is still in the working area and need to be add to the staging area and then to the working area or to the local remote so now let's ignore that uh, that new repository also so we'll go to our file git ignore <coughs> and we will add the name of it like database and the difference between a file and a repository does in the file we just we just write the name of it and in the repository we add the slash at the end so now we save we go back to our git git bash we re-execute git status command and as we see there is no more of database that means that he has he has been ignored yeah so now let's uh, let's uh, add and commit our work and git uh, let's uh, let's try the old one and express commit git commit dash em and uh, as message let's say uh, git ignore of repo as a repository and uh, of not of repo database let's hit enter and everything gets ok git status and it tells us that everything is working clean so now we know how to ignore or ignore some file and also some repository so that's all for this video see you in the next video